Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing some Cthulhu because if you look at my guardians, you'll notice I have one, two, three, four guardians that aren't diamond and they're all getting really close and I just need to get them diamond because honestly, on all my guardians combined, I have way too many worshippers, but they're not like evenly spread out. Like Ymir has almost 20,000 worshippers, but I, I'm pretty much one game away from getting Cthulhu Diamond. So if I win this game, I get him Diamond for sure. If not, I might have to play him one more time. But yeah, so let's do this. We're against an on her, so would that means I probably shouldn't go an auto attack build. I could maybe, or uh, excuse me, a health build. Although Bumpus Hammer is still tempting late game. And pick Shrouds, tempting. I think I'll start with Bancrofts and then we'll see what we need from there. I'll also start Shell. And if I can get Bumbo's late game, that's cool. If not, that's fine. Maybe I can go uh, Tainted Still if he goes Life Still. I could go Warrior's Axe. Pretty nice. But by skipping my starter item, I can kind of choose what to go into later on. I will also let him get Red Buff if he wants it. And I'll go for Blue Buff. It's a little bit safer. Uh, it's not as important on Cthulhu to get Blue Buff. Like, if you don't get Blue Buff, it's not the end of the world. Whereas with, like, Atlas, if you don't get Blue, it is kind of the end of the world. Oh, my... Uh-oh. My mouse software is not working. So when I play Smite, I have hotkeys for my abilities on my mouse. And I, I guess my... It's not open right now? I haven't used my keyboard? Hold on. Let's just fix that real quick by opening this. All right. Yep, it's working now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I play. I've been using my hotkeys for so long, not using them. Uh, it confuses me. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, though. To be honest. Yeah, I have a Logitech mouse that has buttons on the side. It just it just makes things kind of easier, I guess. You don't have to take your hands off WASD to use an ability. That's not good. That's really not good. But I cleared the wave for the most part, and he's not level 5. So again, he is ahead because I gave red buff up for free. I'm okay with this. Oh my god. I didn't think that would do that much damage, but it works out. Mannequin's damage, of course, is so much in the early game combined with on her passive that reduces protections. That is a okay with me. I would try to stop his back, but there's so many minions, I'll just straight up die. <laughs> if I try to stop his back. Alright, I have my ultimate, which is cool. I'd say Cthulhu does better against mages than hunters. This is something I've noticed. Just because hunters can build Kinsize really easily. And Kinsize is very strong against Cthulhu. Very, very strong. That's actually his ability. Nah, he's, he's out. Okay. Well, let's take minis and maybe one more wave. Will I be able to do that with the mana I have? I think so. Yeah. Should be fine. I have my ult to get away. Worst case scenario. He is right there. Okay, cool. Thought he was going to leap over the wall for a second. I should try to keep myself in a place where I can ult worst case. But I have to remember, my abilities and my ult, duh, like, it does cost mana. When I ult, it's not like I can just use everything for free. Which is unfortunate. Alright, let's just recall. We missed some of the wave, but that's alright to get full Bancrofts. Plus, nothing else is up. That doesn't matter too much. Oh, I didn't see the GLHF. Um, and then we're also gonna get an early war just because Honor could take Demon King pretty fast with mannequins. And I want to make sure he doesn't go for something sneaky like that. Because that's the fastest way I can lose the game. Is if he goes for like a four minute Demon King and I'm unaware of it. I, that, that can just shut me down. 
Um, I'm kind of stressed about going for this rather than my blue buff. Red buff is up, but he just took it, which I'm okay with. I will prioritize blue buff over red because we're slowly going to fall behind. That's all right. We're just being patient. It's all about patience, waiting for an opportunity to get our kill. Got to play patient, but you also have to take opportunities when presented. That's how I play Guardians. It's a bit of both. So he is going Transcendent. So that does mean if he goes some sort of Kinsize build, he's not going to have like a crazy amount of attack speed. That's his escape, but you know, he's full health. That doesn't really change much. Uh, do you see how much damage he's doing to me? That's a lot of damage. Although I did a decent amount to him as well. If he leaps on me, I think I shell an ult. I think I can kill him here. Nice. Very nice. Very scary, but like I said, if he leaps and tries to kill me, I got him. I knew it. Very scary, though, nonetheless. All right, let's get some defense. Breastplate, maybe? Ah, I'm not as... They didn't nerf Breastplate. I, I'm Honestly, I'm all about Emperor's Armor nowadays. I'm all about Emperor's Armor. It gives 300 health, 60 defense. The passive is really good for defending and attacking. It's not as good as Breastplate late game, depending on the build. But... The, stat, the stats are solid. It's got solid stats. Also, I should have placed that ward on Demon King. My mistake. Should have placed my free ward here. When he leaps behind me like that, I just it's not a good idea to fight him. It's just better to run away. Because he can hold left click all day long and kill me. Nice. With his escape down here, I think I want to get my one off. Just kind of build up those stacks. Ooh, that really good impale. Which is kind of unfortunate for me. I do have Bancroft so I can heal a little bit. That's not ideal. Okay, it seems like I did more poke to him than he did to me. I might be able to take this red. Plus I have my ult pretty soon. Which is pretty hype. Am I, yeah, with my ult up, if he leaps at any point soon, I kill him. So. Oh, that's bad. At the same time. Come on, leap on me. He, he knows better than to leap on me right now. Nice, good poke, free poke. Free poke, the best kind of poke. I'm not gonna use abilities yet because yeah, if he stays. There we go, dude. So yeah, he probably saw me with no mana going for red and figured that if I used an ability to clear, I wouldn't have any mana. He could just kill me and take red. That's why I waited. Let's go. Divine, I'm almost certain he was going to get Aussie, even if he doesn't. Just the passive healing good. Save second relic. But yeah, he probably saw me with no mana. Figured if I used an ability, he'd be able to kill me. But that's why I saved my ability. Was able to ult. Even if he leaped away, he was dead. Because he was in range of my other ability. So that's, that's really good. Okay, we're 2-1. and one. Even game, even game. Even though I got first blooded. You love to see it. You love to see even games. Of course, red buff is still up, which is super awkward. That was also a very awkward place to be. I kind of just tried to take my quickest path back to my tower. Since I was just where I didn't want to be. Oh, you got a bulwark, huh? This is a good place for me because he has less health than me. My passive's ready for a fear, which could be amazing. And I have Emperor's Armor. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. All right, well, Emperor's Armor, maybe? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go! Emperor's Armor is such a good item, dude! Emperor's Armor lets you dive for years at a time. Yeah, honestly, now that Breastplate only has 55 defense, which is, like, not much, I, I think I'm going to be opting for other defense items more often. I'll still build Breastplate, just not, like, every game. Like, if you look at my YouTube videos, almost every game on Guardians, I buy Breastplate of Valor, just because it's, it's been such a solid defense item for many, many years. I'll throw my two down for the slow, whether he chases or not. All right, let's get... Ooh, maybe he's not. No, we'll get. I'm gonna get divine either way. Cause even if it's just stopping HP five, divine rune just has good stats. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's go into. Imagine no. Rod, an early rod. Oh, he did get a second relic, so I can buy a relic. I can go blink. I can go upgrade to bracer. I love bracer, so I might go that. I'm getting Bumpus Hammer late game, so if I combine that with 10% cooldown with Power Potion, we'll have max cooldown, which is amazing. Usually I build more cooldown earlier on on Cthulhu. That's fine. My passive's ready to fear him again. But he knows not to fight with that. What I'm wondering is, where is the kin size when I'm playing as Cthulhu, you know? Yeah, he actually should be fighting me here 100%. Kind of a waste of my ult, but I was a little bit scared with the Impale. Plus, I can chase. Let's not forget, I do have Emperor's Armor. So my chase is pretty awesome. Or my dive, I guess. Ooh, look, we might actually get huge damage here. Not huge damage, but decent amount of damage on Phoenix. Actually, like half of Phoenix. I won't commit any more than that, but... Dude, Emperor's Armor is paying dividends right now. Might even get red buff here. Again, a trick I do on the 2, and I didn't used to do this on Cthulhu 2. Because it would be pointed out to me constantly, and I'd be like, eh, it's not a big deal. But sometimes it is, sometimes it is is that if you cancel it at just the right moment, you'll get the full damage from it, like right here. You could actually do it a little bit earlier. It'll cancel the animation, but you'll still get the damage from the second drop. So in my opinion, it doesn't make that much a difference unless you need to auto attack or use another ability. If you're just zoning, just let the ability full play out because it'll, it'll use up the entire area for the slow. So if you're using it for zoning, just let it be. If you're using it for damage and damage alone and you need to auto attack or do something else, then it's better to cancel it. But I would say it's not strictly always, always do that. And we're going to be a Diamond Cthulhu. It's going to be hype. Okay, he's going towards Demon King. I could get some good poke on him here. 30 seconds before my ult. Nice Impale. Don't know if he placed a ward. I actually didn't check. I could have. That's a good thing to do is check if they have a ward and then if they come back and they don't have a ward, you know they placed one and you know where they placed it. Also, I still need to get my second relic. Uh, you know, I'm, I am going to go upgrade a bracer. I love the item. It's really good for chasing uh, and just kind of always having mobility in a way. Like if I place upgrade bracer and then all I can just kind of chase him for like the duration of bracer, which is pretty awesome. Eight seconds. It's like having a sprint all the time, in my opinion. Just good. Just good. Love this item. Even though they nerfed it. But they nerfed, like, everything. Which I'm happy about. I love the nerfs. They're nerfing Cthulhu next patch, actually. Now I have kind of mobility to go in and out. And just kind of poke. If he goes back to his his fountain, I just poke Phoenix. Even like two auto attacks, it makes a difference. 
even like those two auto attacks, it really does make a difference. And then look, now he stayed with the same amount of health. Now he has to clear another wave. Thinking about ulting here, but all right now let's do a little bit more damage. Let's make use of our Emperor's armor. This isn't the best way to siege Phoenix, but it's just kind of what I'm doing currently. And then because of Bracer, just run, get out. Oh, I lose red buff though, which is actually really bad. It's not that bad. I think we should go attack speed Rod of 2D. I actually think that's better here. Just because Cthulhu passive with his auto attacks is actually pretty good. Um, next relic. Oh, he did go Aussie. I knew he was going to go Aussie at some point. All hunters do. Man, really, really kind of losing sight of what I should build. Maybe some pen. Like, an obsidian's pretty solid. Let's keep him in tower. Let's keep him in tower with Emperor's armor. Oh, he just sacrificed his life for that. That could not have been worth, right? He got tunnel vision on that tower, but it was just so thick. I was able to block it. I almost didn't lose it there at all. If I had ulted a little bit more behind me and to the left, I think I would have blocked him after he leaped. I get tower or Phoenix here, right? Pretty sure I do. Yeah, especially with Racer plus Emperor's Armor. Now, at this point, this is where I usually feel like, okay, if either I lose my Phoenix or my opponent loses my Phoenix, you could swap Emperor's Armor out for something else. But right now, I think the stats are good. Still helps me with defending. Also, is he going for Demon King right now? Is he making that play? A lot of people do that. They think it's a good time to go for it, and sometimes it is. But you can also lose the game. Okay, okay. But what I was saying is that I think I'll keep it because the stats are good and I'm still finishing my regular build. So also he's not getting Toxic Blade. So I'm going to get Typhons. Why not, right? Um, Let's upgrade Shell. Yeah, if he's not going to get Anti-Heal, I'm going to go Bancroft's Typhons. There's no reason not to. And then we'll go Obsidian after that or something. Yeah, I don't think he gets that. If anything, I kill him. Oh, unfortunate. And now I'm in an awkward position. Man. Oh, we forgot about Bumpus Hammer. Oh my goodness, I'm level 20. <laughs> Sometimes I get so caught up in what I'm thinking, I forget the, what the whole plan was. This is fine. I pretty much just have to keep him away from my Phoenix for... The duration of Demon King, which isn't even hard to do. But, yeah. Sucks that you got Demon King, but I don't think he gets anything out of it. If he gets a lucky kill, he could win the game. That's that's where he could get something out of it. We have It's our job to make sure that doesn't happen. His ult should be down for, like, a little bit. Am I able to get this? That'd be really cool. Yeah, because I was thinking, wasn't I supposed to have max cooldown late game? <laughs> I realized I never got my Bumpus Hammer. Whoops. Like, dang, this ult's awfully long. I'll place my Racer here just because it's like the halfway point for the map. So if he's aggressive or if he's defensive, I can still walk in it a little bit. Looks like he's being way more defensive than I was anticipating. I barely have any stacks on my passive. All right, well, let's go get Bumpus Hammer, dude. I assume this is the kin size, but now he needs Toxic Blade, too. Sold the mannequins. What are you buying? Are you buying brawlers? Brawlers on on her? I don't know. It's a lot of flat pen. Usually the counter, if your opponent doesn't go any percent pen, usually double defense is the way to go there. I think I, I can get away without it, though. 
And if he gets Brawlers, I'm still gonna keep my Bancroft's Titans. I think it's just the play here. Making sure we hit auto attacks between everything. Oh, that sucks that that hit me. We want him to sacrifice his life to, for this Phoenix here, pretty much. Oh, there we go. There we go, dude. The correct thing for him to do was give up Phoenix, unfortunately. And that should be game because I have Bumpus Hammer. Let's see. Let me place this so we get as much damage as humanly possible. Make sure we're auto attacking between auto uh, between abilities. Get the Bumbas hammer. Oh, I'm I'm an idiot. Where am I? Am I an idiot? There we go. GG's. Got first blooded, but came back with a rampage. Pretty, that was a good game overall. And we got the salt too. Stupid God, when I'm playing Cthulhu. And I'll tell him what I tell everybody else who complains about Guardians. Play them in duel and then see if you have the same opinion. <laughs> Jeez. Feel free to play some Cthulhu. And then they'll fight a mannequins as a knobby or something. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Here are the stats if you want to see. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, buddy.